what do what is the adult part in all of this? Because Scratch is a great tool. Kids can take it and try it and use it to to connect. Kids are full of creativity and they will have a great idea about fighting those big issues. But how do we what is our role? So we came up with the idea that our role as adults is to be an obstacle remover. We're not gonna help them with too much with the technical part of how to create the project a bit just to guide them, but they'll figure this out by themselves. But we we'll really need to help them keep the time because I can, anyone can spend uh, 25 hours on one Scratch project to present yourself or one internet search. So it's really about keeping the rhythm, helping the t team work together. It will, they will, the teams that will form tomorrow will be kids that haven't had the occasion to work together before. So uh, helping manage the emotions when it's getting stressful. Uh, how do we work together on one Scratch project? That's also a challenge. Um, and then keeping it focused, keeping it moving forward, doing this, like, this is a huge problem. We found those key figures and we could spend more time looking for anything else, but let's focus on those and see what we can make them say. Uh, and the last part is tech support. So debug and helping them get through the day, uh, the tiring day that we're planning for tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Roman. So the idea <laughs> is that it's a challenge that will be available that we're testing today. Um, and it will be available to all. So we count on your participation and we probably have the first go on the code week, October 2017. We want to open it to everybody and to make this available to everybody. We have today the format of the hackathon, but you can have a format, different format. It can be in several times, over several weeks, over several months. You can go deeper or not. It's very flexible. We would like to share that with you. Thank you. Uh, Lucia. If you want to uh, come on stage, and I will give you the mic. Thank you, Roman. Hello, nice to meet you. I would like to tell you a little bit more about Super Coders program in Poland. Uh, we are just after the pilot edition of Super Coders and we have lots of experience, good and bad, and I would like to share it with you. And also tell you about our plans for the future, how we want to improve it, what, 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 what our plans are for the future. Okay, so for whom is the program? Uh, program is just as if said, it's for children aged 9 and 12. This is 4th and 6th grade in Polish school. And uh, we also recently prepared a version for smaller children, like aged 6 and 8 years old. That's the new, new version of our Super Coders program we just uh, started. What do we want to achieve? Uh, I think that the most important thing we would like to inspire, inspire children, inspire teachers, and also inspire ourselves because we believe we are still learning. We, we started recently and we have lots of things to, uh, to learn and to, to, to change, so it's also inspiring for us, I believe, all the time. Um, what else? Uh, we, we believe that it's not about coding, it's about uh, being passionate, being uh, interested in something. That's why we base uh, this, uh, our coding program on different, uh, I shouldn't say topics, but maybe different um, ways of classes at school, like biology, Polish language, English language, uh, geography, nature. We, we, um, recognized teacher who would like to use Scratch, use coding during their regular classes or during their um, some extraordinary classes. Uh, we also believe and uh, we, uh, we encourage teachers to, uh, to 
work a lot on a teamwork. So we believe that's also the role of the teacher to, to see what children's ambitions are, what they're good at, uh, how they can implement in the project in their own way. Because we believe that children, they can have their own ways of uh, being involved in coding and involved in Scratch community. So, so that's, that's what we want to create. And how we do it? Uh, we work with schools from all over Poland. And uh, for the start, we ask them to prepare a movie. Why do I want to become a super coder? They make it together. They prepare this movie together. And that's the start. That's how we choose schools we invite to program. That's, that's the very beginning. Uh, we also um, we work with teachers. We believe that we can't work with all the kids. We just want to support teachers in their work with children. So they can feel comfortable, they can feel inspired, they can feel they have tools to understand what, how they can support teacher, uh, children. Uh, we work with two teachers. One is a computer science teacher, but the one less important, actually, in this topic. The other one is uh, subject teachers. A music teacher, Polish language teacher, English language teacher, um, nature, biology teacher, uh, geography teacher. So th these are the, the persons we, we work with. And this IT teacher is more like a support if he's needed sometimes to help with some robots or things that Wi-Fi that doesn't work and but it should work. So that's that's how we mostly mostly we try to uh, to to persuade other subject teachers to to be to be involved to be interested in coding. Um, we prepared six different educational paths. As I told you, I will tell you a little bit more maybe later about these this six paths. We are now preparing two more, so they will be ready uh, soon. We can, we can share it. Uh, we, we prepare uh, some basic training scenarios. These are basic information for, uh, for teachers to, to use it, uh, to create it their own way. It's also for them most important for the ones who are starting and don't feel comfortable on it. Uh, we have 12 scenarios in each path uh, of 12 lessons, which comprises about 45, 60, uh, 60 minutes. We also offered uh, uh, support of vol orange volunteers, sometimes if it's needed. We, we try to engage these orange volunteers. Uh, they often go to schools where their children work, study, <laughs> play, and uh, that's, uh, that's also a chance for us to, to involve parents uh, in this, uh, this situation. Uh, we also uh, offer a two-day training uh, for teachers at the very beginning, uh, which is very important. They have a chance to meet, they have a chance to go by themselves through all these things and see how it works and have fun, uh, great, great fun. And we also offer grants for schools, so they can buy some robots, tablets, or other things they, they need to make, make these classes. This is also an important thing, because not all schools can afford to get it, especially at the very beginning when they try and not, they are not persuaded. So that's, that's, that's the important thing in it. Okay, a little bit more about these educational paths. As I told you, there's one uh, English language path. Uh, children, they make kind of robotic theater based on a wizard tale. They go through the different landscapes. They record the voices of Dorothy, Lion, and the wizard. And at the very end, they make a theater. They can invite an audience, parents, other, other teachers, other children to see it. So this is really, really nice path. I like it a lot. Um, there's also um, this nature biology path. It's explorers of the world. Children, they make measurements like wind, sun, rain, and uh, they decide how they want to use it. They sometimes prepare, decide to prepare a weather map, or they sometimes decide to 
quote uh, mm, some Mm, I can't actually explain it in English, sorry. <laughs> uh, they try to, to figure out how much water they should put on a desert to, to make uh, things grow. So they use scratch for it. So that's th just the, the way of ex inspiring them and the way of thinking how they can use it in this specific field here. This is the biology and the geography. Uh, there's also... Um, Treasure Hunter's Path, it's uh, the history one. Children, they uh, learn part, they decide which one, part of Polish history using Scratch. They code some maps, some, they record some um, talks between kings and some important people, and they, they use it to create a, a history. They, they build, it's, it's a way of learning history. Uh, we also have a music path, which is uh, uh, really, really interesting. Children, they um, uh, code, they, they, they play their own samples, they play also on all, all their bodies using, you know, makey makey, or they play on fruit. So this, there is a big, big fun. Also, teachers, they, they love this, this, this path, this scenario. Uh, Polish, uh, Polish journalists of the future. This is also interesting. They, uh, they make lots of interviews. They go outside, talk to people, and then use a Scratch platform to, 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 to show it to others. So this is uh, a nice one. And most robotic path, this, uh, it's not a good translation, techie to zero. Uh, uh, it's uh, most the robotic path, they, uh, they create robots, and after they, they code it to move, to draw, to do some interesting things. Okay, so that's a little bit about how we see it. And this is, we also recently implemented this path for youngest children. Uh, we, we are at the very start, it's more, less about technology, more about logical thinking and being interested in, in coding and in Scratch. A kind of carpet coding, let's say. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate your support. Thank you. And uh, I told you about the workshop for for, te uh, for teachers. This is really important, really amazing part because they become children. They feel like children uh, have lots of fun and play. And also they learn how to use Scratch platform. They also go through these scenarios so they can see how it works on themselves. They make mistakes. They, they, they feel, feel much more involved uh, in this. Uh, you can see these are photos from, uh, for, from our first training. Uh, it was really, really a great, great fun. We also took part in it uh, in Orange office, maybe. Ivona, you saw it. It's a big, huge building where we're running all over the building with robots and this measurement thing. So it's, uh, it was also inspiring for us. Um, we also try to gather, we make an evaluation of the project and I will tell you a little bit more about it. But these are some opinions. I like the first one a lot. When someone called sick, he was either really sick or sick by Wednesday, <laughs> because uh, Tuesday was super coders day. So <laughs> we, we, we know from children and from teachers that uh, it's uh, this coding classes is at school, but they don't feel it's school. They feel that's what we hear. It's cool. It's so totally different than school. We like it. So, uh, and we also know that, that teachers, they become more authentic. They have more authority. And they think that their classes became more interesting than they were before. So for them, very often it's uh, just the beginning of their treasure with scratch, with coding, and they, uh, they think, we just give them some basic tools at the very beginning, and I believe lots of them will be, uh, are or will be involved in this coding and scratch community. Uh, so, uh, next one, thank you. A uh, little bit in numbers, we started the pilot edition with 35 schools. Uh, and with 60 schools of these uh, younger children recently. 
And now we start another addition in the school year. It will be 155 elementary schools. Uh, they start in September. We are now preparing for it. So I hope we could meet next year so I could tell you a little bit more about how it works on a bigger scale. A little bit about the evaluation. Uh, what we know um, mostly from teachers, because at the very beginning we asked teachers about lots of things because we work with them directly. Uh, so uh, they most admit that their digital skills, they improved a lot. They feel more comfortable. They feel more, they know what, what's going on. They are really involved in it and uh, they're creating also new things and share their ideas with other teachers. Uh, we know that 45% uh, teachers describe their IT competence as low at the very beginning of the program. At the end, 81% uh, sees an improvement. So, um, of course, we can discuss it. Why, is, what, why, why does it go like this? But I think it's a quite a, a nice number. Um, and what's interesting that over 50% of teachers, they, uh, they continue their they experience with coding and with Scratch. So we believe it's, it's really interesting because lots of them uh, didn't code before. So this is, uh, we believe, quite, quite interesting effect. We also know some negatives uh, because teachers, they tell us that uh, some of them, they still need support. They need more scenarios, more inspiration. And they, uh, we know it's, 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 it's not enough. Uh, uh, we also know that teachers are more eager to, uh, to work on um, these extra classes, nor these uh, um, ordinary normal classes. We believed at the before that they will use these methods uh, just while, while running their, their lessons. Now we know it's, it's not so easy. Um, and we also know there are some subject teachers they, they need, they require longer training, longer support. Um, children, uh, we, we, did, we didn't have a chance to ask all children what, what they think about the program. We'll know it next year, a little bit more about it. Uh, we know we have lots of information from teachers. Uh, um, we know that lots, lots of teachers, they, uh, lots of children, they, they are later involved in the Scratch community and they continue coding. So this is this is important. Um, maybe go through it. We also not know that the Super Coder program it inspired other teachers at school. We know that uh, 48 something percent. Uh, uh, Teachers, they claim that other teachers are interested in it and they want to use some, uh, some of these methods in their work. So we think it's also inspiring for the school community. And we also know that parents are interested in it. And I wonder to, to hear your presentation because we, we are now thinking how to more involve parents in, in this process. So I'm really, really interested in, uh, in your speech. And I have a short video, I will show you it at the very end, but maybe now I will tell you a little bit more about our future plans. We want to create more paths, a German path and more mathematic path. Uh, we, we will have it soon. We just started a cooperation with Gaffer Institute to, to help us to prepare it. Um, <laughs> I will say a little bit more about plants and maybe show the video at the, at the very end. Uh, we also uh, have now uh, this plan, as you notice, uh, of expanding this program on 155 schools. So this is also uh, a, a big thing for us because uh, we know we have to probably change some things in our work because we tested it on a smaller group and we'll see how it, how it works. We also want to make m more evaluation on children, ask them if it helps them, how, how, how they, what they do with it after 
is it uh, is it interesting for them? Uh, I will show you part of the movie at the very end. What children say about Supercoders program? Or I won't. <laughs> we will see. This was this uh, robotic path I told you about, it, the one which is quite, quite popular among children. Okay, so thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thanks. Thank you, Eve, for your support. I, I suggest.